Hey, what's up guys? I just thought I'd show you this one. Uh, this is for my rank one. Uh, it was a really good match, I must admit. Um, I've actually quite enjoyed doing this, uh, these, this like mini rank season at rank five. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you this one. It was a really, really good match to actually get me to rank one. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, uh, so we are on the map. Uh, ring now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push C uh, I have activated my speed boot because I want to get there quite quick uh, and then hopefully start capping it uh, my RPF is actually pointing um, over to E7 round there um, so um, so yeah I'm just heading off to see what I have done in the chat and what I, what I do all the time especially when I'm doing stuff like this is I tell the team what my plans are, where I'm going to go, you know, what I'm going to try and do, you know, straight away. I've done it all the way through, <laughs> um, just to let, just to give them an idea of, you know, what my intentions are. You don't have to give them a detailed, you know, count of it all, you know, but you know, just give them a general rough idea what it is that, that what it is that you're going to be doing. You know, just so that they can support you. So as you can see, I'm pushing into C and my RPF is going off. Now, I do think that there's something just on the other side of the island at F7. So I'm going to kite away. And then I'm just going to launch torps around there. Now, I'm not really expected to hit anything. The cap is contested and there's the DD. So I'm going to use the island as a bit of cover. I'm going to kite away. I do take... A shot there but unfortunately he misses well fortunately he misses so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come Compete I'm gonna turn starboard. come back round I know he said talk but I knew the angle of the talk to the island I'd be all right turning this way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back I'm gonna wait for me talks to load and then I'm gonna do a daring run and go around the corner here because I've just got an idea judging where the BVs are there, I think well this done, DD Commander. is actually on his own, and there he is. So I'm going to kite away from it. I'm going to turn. I'm going to make sure I kite away from him. He can hit me with his guns. I can't go in 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 a gun duel with him, but what I can do is I can try and torp him. Maybe hopefully get one torp hit and smoke then take him down. Started. I've got me smoke. That's why I didn't smoke before. Sometimes people in DDs, they panic and they smoke far, far too quickly. And fortunately, I do manage to get a hit on him for like 7,000, uh, 7,600. Um, so yeah, so we've pushed him out of the cap. We are going to cap. I'm not going to do my repair yet. I'm just going to wait for it to come down. Oh, I did do. But I want it now only because uh, the cap is being contested and I need to get round and push that DD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up the 7 line and hopefully spot that DD because he's taken a top hit, he's low. I cannot get into a gun duel Torpedo with him. If I, if, if I get into a gunfight with him, he'll, he'll just kill me. Torpedoes, direct front. But I do know my guns are actually quite good on this, but not as good as um, the the actual Nicholas guns. Um, he will Torpedoes, just just absolutely front. outgun me. So I'm just keeping an eye on Torpedoes, where my RPF is. Again, I'm not going straight in or side on. I am angled a little bit, so I can turn where the RPF is. I'm just going to send torps, push them back. It, it's this area denial that you're doing for the team. And as you can see in the chat, I put that the DD took one top hit. Now what I'm going to try and do is maybe get a run on this Texas here. We do have a friendly Congo pushing up the seven line. Now he's kind of trapped against the island, which possibly isn't the best maneuver, really. Um, you know, being you know pushed up against the island. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a torque run on this Texas. So I'm judging where he is. I'm, I'm in a pretty good position. I'm just gauging where he is. I'm gauging if he's moved. He is moving, so I set one set out, set the other one out, and then I set another one out. So I know they are spread out, but he, even if I can help the team and just get one top hit, you know, it might take him down a little bit. He is the closest one because my RPF is, is spotting him. There's the other kamikaze, so we did try and get rid of him, luckily the Julius Caesar hits him and we get the kill. Now that's a massive threat out of the way that. So I'm just gauging where he is, now that Koenig is actually kind of in, in the path of me torp so I can't really torp him yet. So it takes a big hit there. There's the other DD. He's got 3,000 health. He'll still be able to gun me down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down. I'm going to pop me smoke. And then I'll go to guns on him. So I fire me guns. I do get a hit with a fire. Which instantly repairs. He's got 278 HP left. I do another volley. Fire at him. I switch my torps back to the Texas. And I start shooting. And I shoot me torps. Now, I'm hoping that the Texas is focused on the Koenig and hasn't really noticed me here. <laughs> um, I'm crossing my fingers anyway. And my toes. And I get, do get some torp hits. And there we go. I managed to save the Koenig as well. So what I'm going to do is my RPF is pointing into B, well on the other side of B. Now they've lost three ships, they've got three left, we've lost one. There is a DD there. And like I said, keep keep information going for your team. And so I, I just said, you know, I'm going to B, I'm going to stay in here now and cover B. So the situation now is we have got two caps, they've got one, they've lost three ships, we've lost one, we've, we're two minutes fifty away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some torques going into the Congo, into the battleship, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hug this island, because I've got a feeling he's going to come through there. I know my torques will reload quite quickly. So I'll send torques out, even if I just get one, even if I just get one hit, it'll mean that when my next lot of torps load up, I should be able to kill him. So now he spots me on proximity spotted. I'm going to turn. He's fired. And then I'm going to carry on turning. Still turning. My torps aren't loaded yet. And there we go. Now he's seen me and he's turning in, but I managed to get the torp hits. There we go. Well done, Commander. And then I said to him to take out that emerald. Do me repair. There's the emerald. I'm going to go up to A. Problem solved, sir. And that is basically it, really. So thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this. I did manage to get to rank one, obviously, and I did you know quite well while uh, while doing it. Um, so once again, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I will get back to you. Um, and thank you so much for watching.